So today we're talking about sex and oh. how men, before they get married to you, they'll be giving you hints like, oh, like when you come, I have things I want to show you, I have things I want to teach you, okay. all those things like that. But you don't discover that when you're not coming to marriage, the men are very stereotyped. Are you talking from experience? <laughs> <laughs> no, you men, have to. Men are very, <laughs> men are very stereotyped. I have you need to know that you're like talking from experience. Men. I've spoken to you okay, and I've okay, spoken okay. to other men. Okay, and wow, if it's nice. this way that they are doing it, even if the wife is doing this, this, they will still be doing that way, that way, that way. But I don't understand. Because a woman, eh, many of the married women that I yeah. know, they used yeah. to go for all this sex class, sex WhatsApp group. Okay. They'll tell you, oh, we are your bra, we are your pantyhose, eh, eh, strings. Catapult string. Uh, do uh, do biro, uh, upward move, downward move, yeah. and after everything. But you will not discover yeah. that you that you are going to do all those sex training and everything. The man is not doing any sex training. The man is not reading any book. The man is not doing anything. He just yet he wants, but he doesn't want to even think about it. So he just wants to come. He wants to go. He doesn't even know. Okay, should I? Uh, <laughs> let me touch here. Though. Let me touch here. Though. Nothing. Please explain yourself. No, no, I'm not explaining myself. That's explain the reality. For your fellow I'm not. Gender, your I'm fellow only, the, the thing is that every man is not the same. Okay. That's rule number one. Sometimes you find out that um, you, you find you find situations where it's men that really bring the game on, and you have situations like yeah, how? no, there are a lot of situations that you, you you might want to take a census on this particular issue. You find men bringing the game on. You find women with the laser fair attitude. They don't care. They don't appear attractive. They don't appear nice. No, of, it's not wait, appear now. attractive. Wait, it's wait, the wait, act wait, itself. I know now, but before the act, something has to precipitate that action. Do you understand? Mm. I, I don't. I don't know of any man. Of course, they exist, but for a man to just to just have that blood rush or heart pump, and he's thinking of, oh, this must go down right now. No, I, I think a man. We say women have to prepare, they have to cook up, cook up, cook up, and men are like firebrand, firebrand, firebrand. But the reality is that sometimes, too, a lot of th one major thing that affects men is mm -hmm. men are very visual. Everybody knows that, yes. you know. So some of these things might result, might, might come about as a result of how the woman is able to stimulate her husband, or whether the man is a natural stimulant himself. Do you understand? No, but, no, but, but does that address your question? It does not address And what's your question again? My question is that okay. women take out time to go for trainings, to, to read books, to watch these things. Okay, well, let me to try study. like this. Let me wear this one. Let me wear, let me be fit for my husband. But you, you are trying to be fit for your husband. Your husband does not mind having a pot belly. You, you are trying to say, okay, <laughs> well, should I do this one for you? But your husband does not even mind that. Oh, okay, well, let me do this, this. As in, you people want it, but... You don't even have the drive to now we don't, walk we don't, around we don't, we don't, okay. we don't spend. Are you even thinking like, as in, okay, let me ask a question. Do, do, do men even think that, oh, today I want to have sex with my wife. Let me go and study. Like, let me show my wife today. Let me surprise my wife today. Have you ever thought about it? I've thought have about it, but I may not have to go and start studying. What do I want to study? What do, you, what do I want to start studying for? The thing is that men and we are end goal related in mind. Mm. We're not, we're not really thinking about process, 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 submit the file on this table, they will take it to another bureaucratic table. You know, I don't think men are bureaucratic when we think about sex. We are more like technocrats. Like we, we are archers, like arrows. When you, when you pull your arrow, you have, no, you have okay. where you are going to. It doesn't matter what happens along the way. Do you understand? So you are thinking of that end point. That so, end point. Do you now prefer your wife to fake an orgasm? Nobody's asking any woman to fake an orgasm. I don't even think it's fair <laughs> on the woman herself. Because if you are faking an orgasm, that means that means you're already you're already feeling deficient somehow. No, you understand? Deficient. No, it's true now. Why would you want to fake an orgasm? There's no point in that. Just be yourself. Be yourself so that you can have a no. frank talk with your no, partner. No, 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 no. You're not about... getting my point. Oh, what's a, your point? No. A woman would train, walk. Attend classes, do this one, do this one. That's but the what man I'm is not even that. trying That's to even say, okay, oh, today, let me even do this thing for my wife. Let me <laughs> do this. Let me try this. Let me even. Oh. No, listen, just, just look at it this way. Men and women are different. We are different, entirely different. And like, like I said before, not 
every all men have you all men with any now. whatsapp class i've never attended train? whatsapp class, but i've gone to blogs i've read about sexual things i've done a lot of those things but the reading is not the in thing for a man a man wants to just get down to action wants to get <laughs> certain things done why do you have to go and start reading about maybe okay sex stuff and all that you okay. just you just okay. you okay. just do it but even a woman yeah even if she's reading really all those things she would even want to even discuss with you like okay what do you think we can okay. do to be better should we do like this should we do like okay. this should we do like this the woman is more open to having those kind of discussions but yeah. the man people don't want to have a okay I let me don't... let me give you let me give you an instance mm. something happened is our, our story and i think <laughs> eh, eh, which story <laughs> you know when a, when a woman tells you okay um i'm not really feeling top notch on x y and z levels and all that i think you are being too stereotyped you're only speaking one language <laughs> Aosa, 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 only Igbo language. <laughs> you are not speaking Yoruba. Or she wants you to speak, speak French and Spanish. Do you understand? If you are expecting a man to speak Spanish or German or Brazilian language, do you understand? You should be able to give him the manual. Don't expect the man to just understand the language. You are the language. Teach the man how to read you, how to read you personally. Even if, for example, maybe the man has had other sexual um exposures and all of mm -hmm. those things <laughs> of course women who have had other sexual exposures <laughs> do you understand? but every every partner is different once you now find yourself in that place of marriage you know you understand your partner should be kind enough to lead you along that path and not expect you to figure everything out no man is going to figure everything out and most times so men are not really looking out we're not looking at oh does she have a best mark here does she have a no 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 those things those things are not no, those are me, not end point no 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 no, no do you no. understand for me for me i feel that for him not to tell you that he loves you he should, he should be able to search you <laughs> search you from your head he to your search toe like he a map not, yes yes he should yes, map you out yes yes he should Leo, that's my thought. A man should know, yeah. oh, this is how her coils are. Wow, this is how her wow, ears are. Wow, she wow. has a bet mark beneath wow. her ear. How much time would that cost? <laughs> how much? That's a lot of no, time. Wait, no. wait. Now, let she me tell you. She has a bet mark beneath your ear. Oh, this one, you have the... See, you wait, cannot tell wait. me that men have been married to one of their wives for years and they don't know that their wife has a boil mark at her back. Because they've never even, for one, they even say, ah, let me even look at this, my wife's body. Like, ah, nice body, nice body. <laughs> They've never done it. Every day, they just come. Even if you want to on the light for them to check, they will run off the light. They don't want to see anything. They don't want to wow. check anything. They just want to wow. do Wow, really? Why? <laughs> really? Why? You know, I, I don't know, but I just feel, I just feel if a man takes, if a man takes the model that works at work and takes it, to the marriage. No, but that why, model, that why model, do people used to search wait, your now, wives? Wait, we will search. We will keep searching. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot search everything out. You cannot discover everything. This thing is a journey of a lifetime. Do you understand? <laughs> okay, wait. Life... <laughs> wait. No, no, no. no. At 70, we are still searching. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't want to search when your wife's body is still standard. You want to wait until she's 80 years old. When she says... She does not want you to search again. That no, is now no, when you, you want to search. What, what I, no, I, I, no. I, I tried to lay a foundation here. I said most men... We most, go to most the beach men, like this. We lie down or we are somewhere. Then you now begin to... You say, oh baby, you have a better market. You check everywhere. That checking, eh? That checking. Listen, eh? There are some men that actually check these things out. That's why like every man is not the same. But, some, but some all men, the men that some I've men, spoken to, I've some... not seen any man that has patience. That has patience. I've not seen. Patience. <laughs> I've not seen. I don't seen. think sex is the patient. Sex is so actually, sex can be patient. Sex can also be impatient. But most times, sex is majorly an impatient action. An impatient action that results in two people coming together to do things patiently. Don't forget it's an impatient action, but results in two people coming together to do things patiently. <laughs> Man, that's some wisdom out there. But, you know, but, but, but just let me, let me make this point clear. At work, for example, like you are target driven, you have to hit this point, hit that mm. point, you have to do X, Y, and Z, you have to make this thing happen in time. You know, that, 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 that's the lifestyle that women actually go through. Mm -hmm. men, men are not, you cannot come and tell your wife, oh, I work so hard, but where is the money to show for it? Do you understand? Oh, um, I, I love you so much, but where is the gift? Where is the holiday? Where are all those things? Mm -hmm. So, I, I, let me just finish. So, somehow society has wired us to the point that 
we are just transfixed on on a certain on the goal. Yeah, on the goal. You understand that whole pathway is just like you, you want to have a conversation with a man. You want to tell his story. He cannot start telling you, okay, I went to the market, I saw the gate man, I saw this, I saw that. He will just tell you, okay, I met the buyer, I bought the product, and I'm home. It's a short conversation. So I feel that you know that kind of pattern also affects the way men relate, even what? even in sex. But I'm not saying it's the right thing. I'm saying what is we right can thing? we can actually leave work to be work. Let's leave work in the office. What is the right thing for sex? The right thing is to have sex according to your partner. Mm. I think that's the right thing, really. It's a lot of work, whether you like it or not. Let me ask but you But having question. sex according to your partner is really is really one thing that also shows how patient you are. Let me ask you. There are people that don't even like too much. For, some people just like it. Hey, come on, let's let's get it to every the end day, point. Every day, end point, oh, end I'm telling point, you, I'm point. Some people differ. Do you understand? People mm. differ. Okay, wait. Let people me differ. ask this question. I have... Let me not say personal experience, but... Yeah. You've spoken to people. People, yes. Okay, okay. That before you get married as a woman, they'll be telling you, oh, hey, don't deny your husband sex, oh. don't deny your husband sex, oh. but do you know that real life, yeah. a lot of women are the ones that are being denied sex, not, not their not husbands. Not men. Yes. Not men. And you will hear a lot of women that will say, I wore these strings, I wore high heel, I wore bra, I walked and walked and walked, my husband did not even notice that I was walking like that. He did not even notice. I, and by the time people were dating, he will be behaving like, oh, he will be noticing it. Oh, oh, you are very attractive. Oh, even if you wear jalabia, he can still see through you and all that. But this one now, you will, <laughs> if you like, have your back, walk out like this, naked, be doing it. He will not see it. You know, eh, Why? You know, and you know, people, you see a lot of men, you people see a lot of things before marriage. There are a lot of factors. make women. There are a lot of factors because responsible for this. Because our mothers in those days, they'll be saying, they'll be saying, women, oh, don't deny your husband, don't deny your husband. But I'm telling you, I've spoke to a lot of young girls. It's their husbands that are denying them. There, there are a lot of factors. There are a lot of factors. One, the burden that society places on men is much higher than the burden that society places on women. Then why do wait, people wait, make now, us wait, to feel that wait, even wait. will be just, asking for just it when you I'm, I'm ask trying for to, it? I'm trying, no, men will definitely ask for it, but I'm trying to tell you that a lot of conflicting interests are going through the, minds, the mind of every man. For example, now in the month of January, like, you know, this is January 2020, a lot of men are thinking of, okay, uh, my, my child, this, maybe you have four kids, you are thinking of how those kids are going to get into school, you are thinking of their uniforms, they are feeding, you are thinking of a lot of things. I'm not saying that women don't support in the home to do those things, but most responsible men want to pick those bills without any issue whatsoever. Then the stress but of work, they are waiting now, woman, wait, babe, if, let but, me finish. But if your you wife let me, you is need... working naked, mm -hmm. you will not see it too. If your wife is wearing these strings, you will not see it because of the responsibilities of your home. But if you are on the road and I'm that girl that is not your wife <laughs> is now wearing this thing or she's this thing, then you will not see it. Is it that at that no, point the no, responsibility no. disappears? Listen, eh, listen, eh, the truth is, the truth is, it's not like the men just wake up to now decide to start seeing things outside. That's what I'm saying, that why is there a difference? The, 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 the ability, you see something that you are not acting on, what's the point? You cannot now say that you are blind to it, you are not, but you see it, but you are not acting on it. It's irrelevant. You're not acting it's a on tot it. It's totally irrelevant. If, for example, maybe I see, um, I'm thinking of too many things, and I see maybe a lady, or, it, it's totally irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. It makes absolutely no meaning. Did I see that person? Yes, I did. But it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to my present state of mind. That's why I'm saying that the ambience has to be created. Maybe couples have to, you know, consciously create an ambience, an atmosphere where they can actually be in a relaxation mode. You are in that relaxation mode. You are not thinking of bills. You are not thinking of anything. You are just thinking it's very possible. It can be worked towards. How? Please. It can be worked towards How? now. Come How? on. It can be worked. That's what I'm saying, relaxation. And of course, partners have to help each other in this relaxation mm -hmm. mode. Just you walking around and doing all of those things and all that, and you've not even touched the man. You've not even said, ah, honey, how is everything? How are you doing? <laughs> You try okay. and calm, you calm him down. Okay. You relax, okay. you relax so him. After you, you take, walk naked, you, wait, you take his mind, you take his mind off all of those things. If he does not notice you after you walk naked, you wear this thing, you come and talk. I'm saying, yeah, you okay. you you bridge the gap. It's not just to be cat walking around but the house. But why would the woman always the be the one to bridge the gap? Men also bridge gaps now. I know how many times I bridge gaps with you. <laughs> Do you understand? Men are also gap bridgers. Thank so you. So you get, yeah. All right.